Praise the Lord, brothers. I'd like to thank our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, for uh, a new day in having this men's meeting. Uh, I'd like to thank all the brothers that, that are attending on this meeting, on this evening. And um, Kingdom Men is a men's organization where men get together and talk about life. We talk about all the things that pertain to what we are going through in life. And we bring it to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, for His input. Amen. This evening, I want to talk about uh, something that, that, that really... Um, really needs, really, really is needed in the kingdom of God, um, where men can really get on their faces and give God prayer and worship. And that, that thing is prayer. We need more prayer in our lives. And prayer is the number one tool to go against the enemy because prayer confuses the enemy and today um, I want to talk about there are, there are a few powerpoints of prayer that I want to um, go over uh, this evening and the first powerpoint of prayer is the fear of God the Bible declares that the fear of God is the beginning of wisdom. So when you go into your prayer place, the fear of God is the beginning of your prayer. Amen. And the second thing is communion with God in prayer. Communion with God in prayer. Is touching with God is is getting that one-on-one -on -one thing with the Lord in your prayer situation is is not all about praying um, for your needs you know many times we get into that point where we begin to pray for all of our own light bills and gas bills and and things like that and and I believe that God wants to commune with you in spite of all of those things. He just want to have a relationship with you in prayer. Um, I know it's okay to pay for, pray for your issues and your things. But it's different when you just go seek God in prayer. Just, just want to just have his, just want to be in his presence in prayer. And the third power point is release all your cares in prayer. Everything that you have going on in your life, just release it in prayer. Give it to God. Leave it at the altar. Seal it up in the envelope, my pastor would say. Give it to God. And don't take it back. And the fourth thing is the revealing of secrets. I believe once you get past 1, 2, and 3, that God will begin to reveal to you secrets in prayer. That is why there was more things that you can learn in prayer, um, in prayer and in worship. You know, God begins to open up the heavens to you in your prayer, in your worship. And uh, number 5 is the covenant that is given to you at the end of your prayer session. Is a covenant that you and God make at the end of the prayer. Okay God, I'm sealing this with you in prayer. I'm giving this to you in prayer. And I'm making a covenant with you that I'm not going to take it back. But I'm releasing it and I'm giving it all to you. 
those are some PowerPoints uh, that I want to discuss on tonight that our prayer should go up in that form. Um, I know that many people pray in their own ways, but this is how I commune with God and I and I lift my prayers to him. This is how I do it. Um, you may do it in a different way. Everybody has their own way about going in with God and being in that special place with him. But that's my way. Those are my five points and how I commune with God and get an understanding with him and allow him to download secrets to me. Amen. For the just falleth seven times and rises up again. We find that in Proverbs 24 and 16. There's going to be many times where we may slip up here and there and miss a prayer session and, and things like that. But if we do begin to prayer, begin to go into prayer and go into worship. Begin to go into prayer and begin to go into worship. Amen. There's many times we may fall in in areas of prayer and worship, but we have to get back up and keep it going. Amen. 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 The fear of God. Ecclesiastics 12 and 13. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear God and keep his commandments. For this is the whole duty of a man. Fear God and keep his commandments. For this is the whole duty of a man. To fear God and keep his commandments. That's the the beginning of having a relationship with God. That's one of the beginnings of having a relationship with God. Is to fear God and keep his own commandments. When you pray, don't pray for your own things all the time. Um... When I get myself into prayer, I have a special place that I, I, I give God praise in, in prayer on my own time. This is me and Him one-on-one. -on -one. And that's a place where I, I go to God with my issues, with my problems, with my uh, bills, with my everything that I go through in life. That is the time where I go and commune with God and when I want to give a corporate worship that's when I, I, I am in the church and we have a corporate worship so we are all giving God praise on a, a corporate level and I, I think that's very very important because when the praises go up the blessings come down I don't pray for my own circumstances and situations all the time. I pray for the other saints around the world. I pray for the, the sick and those who are shut in and those cannot come out to church. I pray that God send them an encouraging word or something. I pray for those who are on the street corners. I pray for the backsliders. I pray for those who are struggling in the world. Not all the time I pray for my own circumstances and situations. And let's take a look at Matthew 6 and 8. But thou when thou prayest, enter into thy, cl thy closet. And when thou hast shut thy door, pray to thy father which seeketh in secret. Has reward thee in open. Like I said. When I pray for my own stuff. I pray in secret. I go to God in secret. On my knees. 
and just pray to him and speak to him about my own issues and situations that pertain in my life. In Philippians 4 and 19, but my God shall supply all your need according to his riches and his glory by Jesus Christ. He shall supply all your needs. I believe when you are taking care of God's business, he will take care of yours. We do not serve a one-sided God. That's why I always push the issue. When you pray and when you're going into worship, get into that secret place with God. Commune for others. Get into that prayer place with others. Bring all the people that you have on your mind to the altar. If you're looking for your husband to be saved, you're looking for your wife to be saved, bring them to the altar in prayer. Amen. Psalms 25, 12 through 14. That is the main scripture that we're going to be um, focusing on um, this evening. What man is he that Fareth the Lord. A praying man or woman. Is that that feareth the Lord. Fear is a reverence to God. Fear is giving God. Uh, saying God look. When you fear the Lord and you give him reverence. You saying God. I honor you. I praise you. I worship you. This is what I give to you in my prayer and worship. I give you me. I give you my life. I understand that you are my savior. I know that you redeemed me. That is being having the fear of God and having given God reverence. And there's one thing I loved about Abraham. But Abraham feared God. He was a man of faith and of prayer and worship. See, the one thing Abraham did, he had two separate places of worship and praise to God. He had a place where him and God spent time one-on-one, -on -one, and he called that the tent of meeting. That was a place where he can go to God and, and talk to God as a friend. Talk to God and complain to him about his situations. Talk to God and reveal to him things that he was going on in his life, even though God knew it. But God rather you come to him with your issues and with truth. Amen. In the second place that Abraham had, Abraham had a place where he had his prayer, his worship, his sacrifice. In a corporate level, he done it with his children, with his wife, and all the household servants. Everyone would get together and give God praise and worship on a corporate level. Because they was all touching and agreeing on what was going on. Amen. And that's one thing that is very important. That's one thing that I always follow. To have two separate prayer places. A corporate prayer. And an individual prayer. I always make sure I do. And I go up in both of them. And allow the Holy Spirit to minister to me by myself and on a corporate level. Psalms 25 and 12. Him shall he teach in the way that he shall choose. Amen.